Hello everybody out there, Chris here. Hope you're having a good evening. Wanted to do a quick video before we opened up our, our next advent calendar box. Uh, if you follow our channel, uh, you know, even though we have some Texas roots, uh, we live in Kentucky now. And if you follow the national news, you know that Kentucky has had a, a very rough weekend and week. Uh, we had some tumultuous storms that blew through uh, and, and some massive tornadoes that just created massive destruction. Um, we've got multiple communities who are were pretty much wiped off the map. And uh, I, I've seen some of the, the tornado destruction myself. And it is, it, you just can't, pictures and, and video and, and stuff just can't do it justice. My family was very fortunate um, and, and extended family was very fortunate. Um, but most of our, uh, many of our communities and, and many children and, and many families are now homeless. Uh, and unfortunately there were over a hundred fatalities, uh, many of those being children. Um, and it, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, if you feel compelled um, or uh, if you normally do an angel tree or something along those lines, if you're willing, um, we wanted to put a link in, the, in our video. Um, we'll be making a donation uh, to give270.org. It's school to school. This is a charity that takes your money and gives it directly to the families and, and children who, are, who have been impacted by this uh, devastation right before Christmas. So many kids who had Christmas trees and or Christmas presents wrapped up under the trees and um, who, who now some have lost family members. Um, and, and honestly, they're not really looking for Christmas presents. Yeah. They're, they're just looking for uh, either a place to sleep or, or something to eat for many of these families. So uh, if that's something that uh, is on your heart, uh, we would ask that you just consider making a donation, uh, which would make a huge difference. Uh, in, in some families' lives this Christmas. So I uh, hope you enjoy uh, the video and, and hope uh, you consider uh, donating to a great cause. Thank you. Hello, everybody out there. Today we are opening a holiday admin box. All right, day 14, mm -hmm. two weeks in December. You ready, Nolan? Yeah. And this clues, let's see. Y'all can get it. You don't have to get a whole lot of them. Today is his 56th birthday. Only to make, only and only play in history to make all-star game as both catcher and second baseman. Grounded out to future Hall of Famer Tripper Jones at his final bat. Has a son who plays in the major leagues. Caden Vigio. Or no, Craig Vigio. Craig Vigio, no one. I guess Craig Vigio. Good late to the park. Well, okay. I didn't even think about the position. Craig Biggio. Hall of Fame worthy lineage. When Craig Biggio entered the league, big leagues in 1988, he was a super athletic catcher. His career continued and made the unusually yet very successful conversion to second base. He also played center field the years of the Astros acquired Jeff Kent. He is the only player in history with at least 600 doubles, 3,000 hits, 250 home runs, and 400 steals. He played his entire career with the Houston Astros. His son, Caven, plays with the Toronto Blue, Blue Jays alongside other Hall of Famers' sons. Happy birthday, Craig. So who do we think is going to be in here? Vladimir Guerrero and Craig Vigio. All right. I, uh, we got him right. So here's Craig Vigio. And here's Vladimir Guerrero. Mm. Okay. Vladimir Guerrero. His autograph. That was at the Dallas Card Show. And, and Craig Vigio's autograph. That's the only Vigio autograph we have. Okay, 1989. What do you think could be in 1989 tops? Kevin Biggio and Vladimir Guerrero. Um, no. King Griffey Jr. Vladimir Guerrero won't be in there, but it could be King Craig Griffey. Biggio's tops, first tops card. It's not really his rookie. His rookie card came out in 1988, but you could get a John Smoltz first year tops. What about a Randy Johnson? There's a Hall of Famer. What about a Craig Griffey or Ron? Uh, you're not saying. 
Um, Randy Johnson. No. Dave Parker, the Cobra. I mean, he's not a Hall of Famer, but Greg Olson was a Rookie of the Year. And me. All right. So now you have a Wait. shot. Steve Curry, Jimmy, did you? Jim? Oh, you don't have to say that. Now. Oh. People can read. Um, now you have a shot at who? Vladimir Guerrero and Kevin Biggio. Vladdy Jr. Rookie. And Kevin Biggio. That's a big pass. And Gregory uh, Soto. Biggio, I think, has maybe a rookie debut in this this uh, series update series of 2019 tops. Who are you looking for? Uh, Blue Jays players. And Vladimir Guerrero and Kevin Biggio, to be exact. Put your light right here. It's not like right in your face. All right. You just gonna be quiet? Yeah. How about you read some names? Yeah, you got Vladimir Guerrero. You got a Vladdy. There you go. He's gonna put that right you there. Know, Sandy Alcantara, Jacob DeGrom. Get those out of your way. Big part of the big red machine. That is the thing. Oh yeah, who is that? Is that Andrew him? Miller. Isn't that him? This is an insert. Another insert. Are we just going to be in silence? Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. <gasps> Pete Alonso, rookie-ish. I wanna, don't want to call it a rookie. Oh, there's a nice one. Austin, Austin Riley, rookie. rookie. <laughs> Future Hall of Famer. Cool. It's a Blue Jays rookie, but it's not one of the two. Oh, so. Pretty cool. Two autos to add to the collection. Vladdy. Senior and Craig Vigio. So happy birthday, Craig. Right? Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. You have a birthday. All right. Here we go. We got Vladdy and Vigio. Welcome to the tree, guys.